Our top story this afternoon, President Park Geun-hye is in Ethiopia, the first stop of her trip to East Africa. The president has laid out her vision for Ethiopia and Africa, which she will likely discuss with the country's leaders during summit talks on Thursday local time. Our Song Ji-sun reports from Addis Ababa. Brothers by blood. That's how President Bell referred to Korea's relationship with Ethiopia upon arriving in the only African country that sent troops to fight in the Korean War in the 1950s. In an interview with the Ethiopian Herald, a country's state-run daily, Bell pledged Korea will stand as Ethiopia's reliable partner on its path towards growth and development. Ethiopia, boasting economic growth of 10 percent last year, is eagerly pushing its growth and transformation plan aimed at mid to long-term development. Anticipating the country's emerge as Africa's economic powerhouse, Seoul hopes to expand investment in Ethiopia and help local industries grow. Park listed three pillars of cooperation to develop Korea-Ethiopia relations in a mutually beneficial manner to grow and learn together. First, through Korea Aid a new official development aid program offering health and cultural services on wheels. Seoul will also share its know-how on socio-economic development, which it learned particularly through Korea's Hemal Undong, a movement of modernizing rural communities. Cultural exchanges will be another key to deepen understanding between the two countries. In summit talks with Ethiopia's Prime Minister Haile Mariam de Salen, and in a separate session with President Mulato Tekshome on Thursday, President Bak will discuss ways to reinforce cooperation in areas ranging from trade and investment to defense, peacekeeping, and healthcare. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News, Addis Ababa.